shoot it shotgun before it's dead. Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. But how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them if you have to. Their skin is like, it's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Well, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, they adhere to some patterns, like any animal or human. Well, you mean, like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. The, uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on change of movement and activity. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. If these things, Wendigos, are or, or were human, do they, do they still have some aspect of humanity in them? Certain things. Oh no. Damn it, what happened? Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the way to go. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So the launch then. Yeah, let's go now. It might still be near. Oh my 
God, guys, thank God. What took you so long? It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it uh, tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? It's, uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? There was all this, like, crazy shit. Like cages and weapons and wolves. Yeah, fucking wolves. You sure you weren't at a truck stop? I'm just saying, it's weird. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Em? Em, what is... Th huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh my it's god. It's nothing, oh, no, it just, no, it, it no, bit no, me no. and... It bit you? What bit you? The, the Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really, it's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really, it's, it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily. If the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike. You got to go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am. Emily. You can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh, no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're... you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, Em! <laughs> Please! It is not safe as long as you're in it. <laughs> not for us. <laughs> Don't, don't do this! I'm really sorry. Ah! Oh. Oh. Holy shit, Mike! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, what the fuck did I just do? Oh. Fuck. I, fuck, I, fuck, I, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, okay, God. it's over, it's over. Uh. You guys are safe. You guys are safe. It's a safe room, guys. I had to do it. I had to do it. Okay. I'm gonna get the key from Josh. I'll, uh, 
I'll come back here. You guys are safe. It's over. It's over. Hey, what happened out there? You don't want to know. Hey, are you okay? He was right there. What, the flamethrower dude? Yeah, the, the weird guy. He got himself killed. Was it the Wendigo? Yeah. And I was definitely not lying about that. Oh, Jesus. What did it look like? Like, 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 like a, like a person, only, but just d distorted somehow. What does it say? Oh, uh, just a lot of crazy stuff in here. It's kind of hard to believe, actually. It comes across as kind of a whack job. Listen to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? Are you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear, while a real threat was closing in. Now it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become, huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Oh, but of course you did. They were your friends, you misled them, you lied to them, and you put them through a night of genuine horror. Just a game? But it was a game that has driven you to one of your own deepest fears, Joshua. They're now facing something worse than death itself. <laughs> oh my god, guys, thank god! What took you so long? It's not so good up there right now. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. Uh, yeah, he, uh... Wait! Don't move. What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. <laughs> um, what is the... Huh? This is the safe room, M. <laughs> Please. Uh -oh. Ah! Oh. Holy shit, Mike! Oh shit, what the fuck did I just do? I'm gonna get the key from Josh. 
I'll, uh, I'll come back here.
Holy hell.
I just need a pitchfork and a mob. Good enough. 